The next thing to think about when setting up your cage is your litter pan. There are multiple kinds of litter pans. The two that I'm displaying have been um, the easiest for us to use, the cheapest, and so on and so forth. So your, your common litter pan is the KT high corner litter pan. You do wanna make sure it's a big size. I'll use my hand as comparison so that your, your hedgehog has plenty of room to go in and out. There are hooks on it so you can secure it. That's not as helpful as what I found is you can drill a small hole and then wire it to the actual side of the cage um, because they can move it around and twist it. Another option is a tray inside the cage. I like this type of tray because the wheel fits in it and there is still plenty of potty room um, for the hedgehog to go in and out. Even baby hedgehogs can climb in and out if they so choose um, to start out um, to introduce a litter pan to your to your baby, you can put the hedgehog in the litter pan and most likely it'll climb out on its own. Again, two types of litter pans. The um, litter pan that your wheel can sit in, and we'll talk about why that is important when we're talking about the wheels, or your corner litter pan, which depending on the size of your cage will take up less room than a tray will. So there's pros and cons of each of the different types, um, but either one of these types of litter pans is acceptable.